What? There was a Nintendo Direct today? What? Oh, man. I just... It was a few minutes before that, I, I think, or so. And I was saying on Twitter, I was saying, you know, I, I saw that um, Nintendo uh, posted about Braille Default having a pre-order option in the UK. Um, and I thought, hmm, that's strange. And then I thought... You know, there's also supposed to be that Age of Calamity demo. So I went to Twitter and I said, hey, you know, maybe they're going to do a direct with really default two's uh, release, date, uh, release date announcement and the Age of Calamity announcement. And then, yeah, it was announced. Actually, it was shadow dropped. Imagine my surprise. I, I, I swear I knew nothing. Adam said, I must be an insider. Well, oh, I wish. Um, but no. <laughs> um, I'm not an insider. I just got lucky. I, I saw some evidence and I guessed. And honestly, I thought, eh, I'm wrong. They're just going to randomly announce this stuff. Uh, and then we got the direct. My mind is blown. I mean, seriously, I I watched that direct and I pretty much live tweeted it, or at least for me, it was live. You know, I was live tweeting it. You know, my reactions to various things, and I just I was stunned. You know, we got the Bradley default to date it got delayed till next year but the game looks incredible we've got plenty of games to play right now and with next gen coming and everything um it was probably a good idea for them to delay it till till february um but just getting the announcement finally and it looks so good and then a whole bunch of other announcements that, I mean, I never saw coming, like Control, uh, Ultimate, Cloud Edition. That game looks good. And, and they're releasing a cloud version of it, which, you know, Japan's been playing with. But this is the first release of a cloud game. You know, that means, for those that don't know, what that means is, it means a game that's being downloaded, it's being streamed onto your Switch. And this is the first time we've gotten one in North America. And and that's kind of cool. I mean, kind of cool. I mean, I don't know. It depends on how you feel about, you know, buying a game that you don't really own. And when the internet goes off eventually for that, It'll be gone. I don't know. I might try it, though. I mean, it's supposed to be a free download to download the launcher, and you can try, like, I think five minutes of it. So I may eventually try that. But today I'm kind of busy because the final announcement, I'm skipping ahead here, the final announcement for the Nintendo Direct Mini, as you all know probably by now, was the Hyrule Warriors. Age of Calamity demo. And and I just you know, I was watching the trailer for the game. I think my brain broke because we saw the part where we could actually control the divine beasts. And and I thought uh, and then they announced the demo was coming today, which we knew, we kind of knew, but we or we suspected, but I thought, and then by the time I got to the eShop and I checked, it was up. And I started downloading it, and meanwhile I went and I wrote a quick article about my impressions of the Direct Mini for game reviews. I will include the link in the description. And then by the time I was done uh, writing that and I'm putting that on the site, 
the demo was ready and I started playing it. Home Alone moment. <laughs> Seriously. Wow. You know, wow. Um, I started playing it on the portable mode. And, you know, it looked good. It was fine. And I thought, it was, this is neat. But then I noticed, you know, you get into the gameplay, it's a little, slightly a little blurry on the when you're playing portable. And I thought to myself, I'm going to put this on the TV. So I put it on the TV. Started and I hooked up my uh, one of my controllers that I got, one of my Zelda controllers, the wired Zelda controller controllers that I got from that I reviewed from PDP this year. And I, I sat down and I started playing it on the TV, and the graphics blew me away, and and the gameplay. Oh man, um, I have thoughts on it, and I'm going to write an article after I haven't finished the demo yet. After I finish the demo, I will do an article on the game, or the demo. I mean, I'll do an article on the demo, my impressions, and I may do, even do a video. I don't know yet, but I am super excited for this game. I, oh, you couldn't tell, right? <laughs> Literally, I'm not making this up i'm not trying to uh be even more excited for the youtube video uh my excitement is high for this game it's it's really i'm just like wow i loved breath of the wild uh the first hyrule warriors i i thought it was fine it was it was okay but this one i mean it's it's a prequel to Breath of the Wild. The cutscenes are amazing. The gameplay is fantastic. You know, Impa. I I don't know if I ever want to play Link again. I mean, you know, I mean Link's cool, but she's even better. I mean, boy, this video is getting long. Um, my excitement for. The Nintendo Direct, and especially for for Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity, is just really high. And believe me, I need it right now. I mean, I need the distraction, and just having this made my morning so much better. And I want to thank Nintendo. You know, Nintendo Japan, Nintendo America, Nintendo Canada, Nintendo Europe, all the Nintendos. Thank you. You were awesome. What a great surprise for this Wednesday before Halloween. You know, we've got a great Halloween event coming up for Animal Crossing. I can't wait. Um, anyway, this is me signing off. I got to go and download, I hope, some new review games. And, oh, by the way, I have a review of a cool game on GameReviews.com right now. Ocean Horn 2. Ocean Horn 2. It's not Zelda. I mean, it, it's a Zelda-like adventure. And if you like Zelda, you like action adventures, check out my review. And then you'll want to download it, I think. It's, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's good. You know, it, spoiler, but it's, it is good. Um, how good? You'll have to check out my review. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye.